Hi, loves. Um, I'm here with my laptop, and it's six. Well, six oh six in the morning when I started the video. It's probably six oh eight, about right now. And I just wanted to share a little something while the morning star is coming up, the sun, and just to ask for forgiveness for whatever I may have done. Um, in my confusion and my pain, my left side, I drank a lot over the last, since 1-18-19 anyway. <laughs> And I stayed inebriated in a lot of ways, but mostly in confusion. And I said a lot of things on Facebook, you know, a little drinking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you say a lot of stuff and you make mistakes, and I did. Maybe I said too much. And I forgive anybody that's hurt me, and please forgive me if I hurt thee. And I have a story to tell, and it's true as can be, as true as the zit on my chin, you see. <laughs> and I don't have any makeup on me, plain as day, so to say. And with my new laptop and Gospel of Judas right in front of me. And... I want to take this opportunity to sit with the sun coming up in the light and try to do what's right and ask for forgiveness for anybody I might have hurt or anybody that my story might hurt. Truth hurts, but it's my truth. It's not everybody's truth. It's my eyes. Not everybody has my eyes. And I don't have anybody else's eyes. But I know what I've experienced. That's for sure. Yeah. So. I'm going to tell. What's the story, Lori? And. Please forgive me if I hurt anybody. Not intentional, it's just the truth. I've had to live it, walk it, talk it, walk it. <laughs> and I'm trying my hardest in, in my imperfection. And if What I have to say hurts anybody in any way. Lies are easy. <laughs> the truth is very hard to say. It takes courage to tell your truth. But also in that, share your experience, strength, and hope. In that. And because God has got me through all that, the truth that needs to be told. I thank God. And Jesus and all his angels, because they're bold. And I know that in their wings... I am unfold. Truth be told. So I feel blessed in this mess that I have faith and experience where others have none or have had none. I've been lucky to be blessed in the light under the sun. I wish it for everyone to have an inner relationship with the sun because 
Jesus was really everything. He went all the way. I have to remember that. Mm -hmm. Hold on to that. And you said, in my father's <laughs> house, there are many mansions. This isn't the last stop. Mm -hmm. See you at the top. <laughs> so, it's going to take courage, things I have to say, you know. They aren't easy. I know, because my mistake was I gave others my power. Let them lie, because I didn't think much of myself. Let them get away with things I should have checked, things I should have left. And I didn't. I failed <laughs> for 25 years. I stayed with a man who... Now really gives me the fears. Confirmation, frequency pattern in the skies around the world. Yeah. And we're on a frequency. We're on a whole new wavelength, loves. We're tuning in and ascending up. Yeah, even though, look at that darkness. Wow, it just set in. Dark time, according to George Washington. Dark time. in our nation, where darkness abounds and surrounds with domination. Uh, yeah, domination. Domination station. Yeah, it just got real dark. And that's what we've been living in, especially since 63, JFK and MLK, see? Yeah. The assassination and I have a dream. <laughs> yeah, wow. The energy just got real dense in the frequencies around the whole planet. What's happened, how dark it is. Time for the darkness to go out. Go out with a shout because we were, there were people in the moral right, moral laurel, you know. Yeah, we're at 722. Moral laurel. Because I did make mistakes, and, you know, people, it doesn't give people the right to take advantage of it. Because she's weak, vulnerable, a widow, you know. Yeah. And George Washington prophesied way before me, the light of a thousand stars shine down upon this nation. Mm -hmm. And we made all right in the light. And we've always got fire. Even in the darkest hour. Here we are. This whole grid could go down. Bam! George Washington prophesied with the angel in 1777. Right there by Valley Forge, if I'm correct. Please forgive me, I've been known to be wrong. <laughs> but, yeah. Dark time had come upon this nation. We dipped from the waters. On this nation, dark time. The Third War. Here we are. We've been here. We've been being infiltrated for a long time, love. But just like the fleets who were decimated in the seas... China, I believe. Their ships are still up on the shores. They didn't expect the meteors. Yeah. And the meteors came down and wrecked that whole fleet, by the grace of God. Ain't the first time God's come down and bam, 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 a lamb, you man. Yeah, well, I believe in prophecies, Edgar Cayce's. Earth is expanding. I believe Atlantis is rising. It is. You know, just... Lemuria is supposed to, but I'm not so sure about that. I know it's Recreation Station, though. That's where it's at, Jack. And... I forgive you. You know? <laughs> because you're out of time, and they're saying that you have an opportunity. If you've been lying, you're dying. Well, I'm not lying. I wish I was. Because now I'm total clarity. 
60 days out of any alcohol in my system whatsoever with c quite clarity all natural or out yeah <laughs> and it's time to say it like it is and tell my story because I'm allowed to it's my story if you don't resonate close the book end of story this is my truth what I've seen experienced and been through with Michael Rubin Ledoux. And I'm going to say it true. I'm going to type out this motion today, pick it apart, do what I can. Because in this world of darkness, he's the man. Just follow him. It's all about the money, Mom. That's how he's got my son convinced, anyway. <laughs> It's all about the money. Isn't that awful? You sell out your mommy. Let alone the other two I served honorably. And I'm just going to cut right to the chase of what's happened to me in the last three years. Well, no, let's take 30. AIDS diagnosis. Bam. Given to me by my ex-husband, Jeff Ray. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Thanks a lot. I needed that. Uh, and then, out of desperation, I clung on to Michael Rubin. Nobody would take me anyway with age, you know. He had me exactly where he wanted me. Right down on the line. Nobody else is going to want you, you fat-ass bitch, is what I would hear out of him. When he was drinking, that is. That was the first seven years of our marriage. And he got sober, but he did not get clean. Period. Big difference in sobriety between getting sober and getting clean. When you get clean, you do a moral inventory of yourself. A searching and fearless moral inventory. Step three, I believe. Yeah, then you admit it to yourself and to God and another human being the exact nature of your wrongs. Well, he's impossible. To admit you did anything wrong or take any responsibility whatsoever when I do take complete responsibility for my drinking and getting out of pain and get, trying to get out of confusion. What he did to me it took me a long time to figure it out. I'm blonde. Please forgive me. <laughs> and I'm not, I, the mistake I made was buying into him and his sin. And I only bought in so far and then he didn't want me anymore. He is about to go all the way. He planned it all along, you know. Had me exactly where he wanted me. Fat ass, AIDS, dumb bitch. Nobody's going to want you anyway. Yeah. Well, I lost all the weight and I got better. And he's an unimaginable bastard to me. Wouldn't let me talk to anybody. If I talked to anybody that even looked at me wrong, he'd jump all over me. What did you give me? I would be. Do nothing, but boy, he would crucify me for a compliment. Believe me, I wonder now I understand how much he was given out, though. Maybe <laughs> I can't wait to find out what I don't know, really, because it won't even freaking surprise me. Anything I'm about to learn, how awful he really be. Because he's keeping me hidden, much like in the dark right here. I'm on 1355. Much here in the dark, he's kept me in the dark on everything. And everybody's lied to me, withheld information from me that I had a right to know about. Kept me in the dark in COVID country, getting hearings in the dark with no defense. And the defense was against me, calling me a liar. Well, whose pants were on fire the whole time? Much like the Biden administration. Biden, 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 Biden. Yeah. It just keeps coming, man. What are they going to come up on me next? Or try to, anyway. I'm no longer a Negro, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm no longer nothing on me. Mm -mm. I'm a good girl, you see, that's the thing. And everybody sees it in me. 
I'm a good person. I'm not bad. I've been through freaking Tartarus and back, and I'm still in it watching my country go to chit in it. In the darkness where you see this, you know. But there's still light in there. There's still light in those eyes. You might not be able to see them, but hmm. the light of my Heavenly Father is right there within me, and you can't have it. Why should I expect anything less from you but lies and deceit? And oh yeah, you're such a great guy. You're the guy. <laughs> yeah. So this is my story. Yeah. So then he got sober. But he didn't get clean. I was sober and I was clean. It's good serving my church. Serving my family honorably. Doing my diligence for my veteran husband, who I felt totally obligated to. Not just because I took vows with him three months in, which was a stupid sin on my part. I married him three months in without learning anything. Because I felt like he was the only one who would take me. Yeah. And he made sure I stayed that way and felt that way. And I let him. Hmm. Forgive me. That's for certainty. Heavenly Father, forgive me because what it did to my son is unimaginable to me. What it did to my little girls is unimaginable to me, what they've had to live through and go through because of Michael Rubin and do, but mostly because of me. Because I allowed him to have power over me. And please, Heavenly Father, forgive me. But there are ways to come into the light, too. And rise above the doo-doo. Even with a zit on my chin, it's prettier than his sin. Because I put up with him for another 20 years, sober and all. But getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier in the soul. Little did I know. <laughs> and the way he kept me in the dark, I'm not surprised COVID came in. I'm sure he created it. <laughs> but it slowed me down and it slowed the judicial system down enough so they didn't hit me like a freight train either. <laughs> so COVID served me, kept me down, kept me in, kept me meditating within to find the light <laughs> and hold it tight. In my heavenly father's sight. No matter what, how Michael Rubin lied and put me down and made me feel unworthy and put me in servitude and slavery and dominion and PTSD and narcissism as a master. Now I fully see. So I stayed. No drinking, no smoking, served my church, served my family honorably for 25 years straight while he got worse and worse and worse. I did everything, sold my annuities, gave whatever income, paid his felonies, stood by him through everything. I would have gone to the ends of the earth for him. Boy. You wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it from Michael Rubin. I've got to tell it. Like, pff, it's true. Because it is, unfortunately for me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm... Hey, I blame me. Too. In this equation. I let him. I let him. simple as can be because he was a veteran and I wanted to serve him honorably what a fool I be so anyway the longer I was with him the more he decimated me behind my back to people my family used my mother's insanity against me trying to make me look crazy and I'm not. 
two forensic psych evaluations say I'm not experientially affected by things I've experienced. Simple as can be. And experiencing Michael Rubin. And finding how big is his sin. I don't even hardly know where to begin. And I'm going on 2025. 2024, 20, 20, you know, minutes in. And so I, you know, stayed 20 more years after that fact, Jack. And I adopted two little children who weren't my own. Raised my son all through high school, but you wouldn't know it from talking to him. He was talking so bad behind my back. I come to find out with Michael Rubin. He shredded me behind my back. It's awful. I could imagine what people think of me. It's no wonder, you know, they get close to me and go, uh, they're trashing me and trashing me and trashing me. And my little girls, too. At the leadership of Michael Ledoux. I gotta take a sip of coffee off of that. And be a dirty can. Hmm. And all of them. Under the instructions of the Father. Well, what does it say in the Gospel of Judas? It says that the that the husbands will give up their wives and their children at the altar. That's exactly what happened because I got sold out and put in the dirt and left for dead by Michael Rubin. After helping him pay his child support, help try to build the bridge with his kids, pay his back child support, make sure they had money in the bank for even college. Each one of them. Yeah, that's what I did. I stood with my veteran and helped him rise above all the shit. Tried. Oh, God. I went above and beyond the call of duty for that. Oh, God. Help me. While the whole time he was thrashing me and trashing me and smashing me and hunting me. For the, especially since 1227-18 when I left finally and got free from his unimaginable narcissism. You see? What else do you want me to say? You want me to lie to you? How he persecuted me and uses his PTSD against me. Look at the videos on my any one of my channels. Especially the one where I'm in the car with the kids. Or Christmas. Where he's like, you can visit her at any time. It's okay if she goes, you know. <laughs> it's the only way she's going to get out of here is if she flees for her life. Because I'm not going anywhere or getting any help that I need. She's begging me to get help for my PTSD, but I won't do it. Mm-mm. And my money's coming, but, you know, any day now. Any day now. Here's a little carrot more. Oh, little carrot more. Yeah, I'm getting my money. Everything's going to be okay, honey. We're going to move to Florida. I'm going to get all the help I need. Yeah. And I held on to that lie and that lie and, and hope. For once, he was telling me the truth. Only to find out. He never told the truth from the very beginning of our relationship before. Yeah. So, um, yeah, veteran, he's such a great guy, you know. <laughs> such a, he's a great guy. He's a veteran. We got to stand behind him. All the police force are my brothers and sisters in arms. They got to stand behind me. I'm the veterans. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. They turned against me. I was homeless and all, you see. That's how he left me. Had I had the safe place to stay that he promised me, well, I wouldn't be such a mess homeless in my car, would I be? And homeless people have a tendency to be uh, targeted by the police, don't they? Mm -hmm. Very nasty, I have to say. And I'm not really I'm putting on this my YouTube. I'm not putting on Facebook. Yeah, roll the dice. Roll the dice. Well, pfft. yeah. 
I rolled the dice and it's cost me everything to get away from him. It cost me my children, my home, my pets, my possessions, everything. My reputation, my record. He put a fake restraining order on me under a court of law and said that I intimidated him for his VA check. Fact. Fact, Jack. That's a felony. To report something that didn't really happen. But I talked to the DA. They don't do anything about uh, 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 defamation or slander or uh, liabus. They don't do anything about that. No. Yeah, it's criminal, but they don't do anything. That's what they told me. Anyway. They don't care if he lied under oath in their court, you know. Mm -hmm. Time and time and time he lied about the house. That very odyssey in the uh, order, you know, the odyssey of it. Yeah. His so-called evidence he produces. It's bullshit. <clears throat> Part of my language, this isn't for children, and I'll mark it as such. <coughs> and he's lied to my children, lied to bus, told him I was a threat to him, and I tried to kidnap my children, and I broke up the uh, VA center with baseball bats and uh, and broke the desks and, and broke the computers and broke the monitors and, and smashed everything and threatened the employees. Really? And this is what came out of the mouth of this sleaze to everybody's, to everybody's. Was it the truth? No. I went there for my education benefits. I wanted to go back to school. But this is the stuff he shoveled and they believe it much like the garbage from the left. I think you shovel enough garbage, you're going to swallow it all. Well, he's on your team, obviously, y'all. Because in here, darkness fall. All your lies and lies and lies. You know, they do gather, you know, these lies. But that's okay. Everybody's lying and everybody's getting away. You know, Hunter Biden. <laughs> uh, you know, he's you got the evidence right in front of you. It's not hiding. Tick-tock, tick-tock, Uncle Joe Biden. Creepy Uncle Joe. Uh, pay up a Ukraine. F fire that prosecutor that's investigating my son. And everybody's okay with this. I guess. I don't know. Unless a miracle's going to occur. Which I've seen, personally. So I'm... You know, what's the worst they could do to me? Kill me? They've already done everything else to me. Taking my Second Amendment, which inhabits, inhibits my First Amendment. Which, uh, you know... Uh, no equal rights at all or civil liberties for me at all or civil rights. None at all. That's okay. Not even really Rudy Jolly Giuliani is immune from this ugliness and this darkness. Anybody who wants to rise above the light and be in peace and harmony. That's the one good thing I did here out of Joe Biden. She want everybody to have a shot. Middle class to be built up again. I did hear good things too. <sighs> they want everybody, to, you know, give up their guns. Slowly take the big ones and then take the little ones. And we're not in a, a Venezuela. That's what it's going to be. And they're flooding the border, just letting it happen. It's awful all around, you see. But like I said, Washington prophesied the light is going to shine down on this nation light of a thousand stars going to shine down. We have a meteor shower coming in right now. Today and tomorrow morning. All kinds of them. I could imagine the meteor shower. Yeah, well, hey, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Falling, how many stars are going to fall from the sky? We have a meteor shower right now. And in my gematria, there is... Cinco de Mayo. And the fourth and fifth is this meteor shower, the Aquarion meteor shower. So, truth be told, I'm still having faith in the light in my Heavenly Father's sight. Because the darkness, you know, it's so deep. It's out of sight, you know. We're almost out of sight. 
And even though things get dark, I live in the light. Because things could get crazier. Hopefully mankind's waking up. I'm trying to. But what I wake up to is a nightmare that only gets worse, the darkness that ensues. Until God has his shot. Babel fell twos. Yeah. Have to leave it up to you know who's. And some people say, well, just let it go then and stop talking about what happened. Because that's not the way it goes. You're living in the shows. In the throes. Confirmation. You're in the process and you still got to go. You still got to walk forth even though the darkness comes down on it. You got to keep walking. Doing your diligence as good as you can. Ma'am. Muddle through until the light comes through. It shines its heavenly light on you. And you don't know when you're going to get the golden ticket. No, you don't. When is God going to call you? You have an opportunity. Even Michael's warned you. And there's going to be a day of that darkness right there where you're going to have no light. And you're going to be separated. Mm -hmm. You sinners. You have your sinners and your winners. Well, winners stand in the truth. Others have much to hide. But, like in the prosecutor, Lucifer, your golden ticket will get called too. Through and through, you have an opportunity to undo your doo doo. But, you'll be taken out too. Where's your soul going to? Darkness or light? Wow. Better get a clue. And this is my story. Like I said, I tell it true. I had nothing to hide. I never have. But those in darkness do. Why do you think they're afraid of me even asking a question or opening my mouth? Because I tell it true. And the truth scares them more than anything. This little wall man. I scare them. Mr. 4th ID, 82nd Airborne Ranger, Tigerland graduate recon expert. He says I scare him. Has to put a fake restraining order against me to keep me away from talking. Yeah, nobody more afraid of the truth than Michael Rubin. 3303 confirmation. <laughs> Time stamp. Yeah. He's afraid his chips are the truth, and so is the rest of them. 3313. Confirmation again. So, uh, truth be told, I gotta do this motion. Yeah. And, uh, cuts the chase, make it easy for him. With, uh, confirmation. 3336. That makes three nines, actually, two in time. That's yeah, not 666, six, six, it's 999, nine, nine, or not, not, not in German. What you should not do, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, let alone your wife, who's honorable for 25 years. Now, I was dishonorable the last two years because technically I wasn't divorced and I was with another man, but I wasn't going back, ma'am. No, ma'am. I wasn't going back anyway, and I needed love and support, too. And I got it through my Joe, and boy, we went through hell, you know. Being hunted in those solid two years by every force imaginable, hunting us, spying on us, setting us up six ways from Sunday. Michael Rubin knows all about it. Being arrested for paying my hotel bill. Come on. <laughs> I know he was in on it. And on the whole chit on it. And he's got chit, C-H-I-T, all over him. Lots of doo-doo, you know, that he won't scrape off. Just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And the truth is, you know, you take the rod out and the whole thing falls apart. So I'm going to get focused now and do this motion. 
and put it into motion and follow the motion. God be with me. Because it uh, could be the last statement I ever make in my life. Truth be. At least it'll be the truth. If nothing else, and if I don't get anything out of it, so be it. At least I can run to my Savior's face and greet Him. I can run to my Father's arms and be in His love at some point, because this all will pass. It'll pass like a nasty fart. And I'll go straight to my Heavenly Father's heart. <laughs> go straight back to the love where I came from. Because this place ain't in it. Not as long as right Michael Rubin Ledoux is in it. That and other narcissists like him in darkness. Yeah. Three, five, five, five. Yeah. Because huh. we're in it. Surrounded by those who you know, are surrounded by the material. You're on the wrong side, don't you know? You're in the right side a little bit too much. <sighs> yeah, you're on the light side. We don't like your light. You shine too much light on the truth. Yeah. Your power is too overwhelming. We don't like your energy of God. You'd be saying God in the state of New Mexico. They don't do it, you know. I'll persecute you. Yeah, thank God he was with me. <laughs> you guys ain't got a clue. But I'll make a statement to the governor. Tell it true. But first, I got this motion to do. So, that ain't no Scooby Doo. And it ain't gonna be a Scooby Doo no more about what Michael Rubin would do. do. And I'll say it from my perspective. And I haven't spoken to anybody. Not my children, not my son, nobody. So, whatever they got, they got from him. Which is an absolute sin. Nothing but lies and exaggerations. Good God. Help him. God forgive him because I gotta tell the truth and forgive me in advance if I hurt anybody. Please. I'm a work in progress, not perfection. And I'm not going to pretend to know it all. But I know the truth. And I know the call. God, God, God. Universal law. Goes around, comes around. And it does. At least that's what Heavenly Father <laughs> says from above. <laughs> Always getting off the bed, so that must be word. Remember, don't be a do by being a turd.